Hi everyone, so I have just been to Poundland. I wanted to get a few bits for Halloween. Of course, you know I love doing the girls' little Halloween baskets. Not essential by any means, but I just love seasonal stuff. I already had a lot actually when I went through my Halloween stuff. I've got a few bits already that I can reuse, which is what I tend to do, but I did need to stock up. I wanted a Halloween uh, marshmallows for hot chocolates and I also needed some Halloween sweets as well just to put into their little baskets as well. So I ended up picking a few other things up of course so I thought I would show you and do a haul. Spent around £40 which in the pound shop as you know is quite a lot. So yeah I'm also putting together a little basket for our niece as well so I ended up getting four of everything. But the first thing that I actually got, I saw the glass pumpkin jar. I've seen these everywhere and I can't believe I haven't actually got one. So this year I thought I'd get one. Now we've got our dining room and we're using it a lot. I've got a lot more room to display stuff. Uh, so, <clears throat> so I thought this would be perfect. It's a little glass pumpkin and the lid comes off literally seen these everywhere it's 2.5 litres and it was only five pounds which I think is a really good price I think home bargains do them but I'm not sure what their price is but I don't have one near me so this was cheap enough for me I'll get it out don't know if I'm gonna fill it with sweets or I might fill it with so this is the little lid I don't want to drop it that is the lid just pop that there and then this is the actual pumpkin bowl so yeah it's so cute you could easily use this as decor I mean you could fill it with pine cones autumn leaves you could fill it with fairy lights um, like literally anything or you can use it for like sweets or biscuits or whatever you want to and obviously I will use it year after year after year providing it don't break it um so i thought that was a good price i will definitely have that for a few years it won't go like out of style right and then i'll show you the not halloween stuff first so the girls needed slippers aria was actually with me and saw some she liked they're like purple and they've got bunny ears at the front so she got those and they were four pounds and then I picked up these for Roma, they're four pounds. Sienna's already got some, but the other two have grown out of theirs. So they did need some more because it is getting a bit chillier now. And yeah, I just wanted them to have some nice cozy slippers. These are so cute. Little pink ones, I think she'll love them. They're like the slipper socks, if that makes sense. So they're really snuggly. They are so soft and they've got little, I'm not actually sure what it is. Is it a bear? But yeah, I've got little faces on, little pink sparkly ears, and yeah, I just think she'll love those. And because Sienna didn't need slippers, she got a t-shirt in there, but she didn't want me to show you, so that's fine. Um, but yeah. Then the next thing, I've got these little head boppers. These are going in my niece's Halloween basket. The girls already have some, I think, from last year that we're just going to reuse. Uh, so I just got these ones, I thought they were so cute. We've got a little white sparkly bit there and little ghosts. I got a four pack of LED tea lights. I've got quite a few little autumn or Halloween tea light holders and I haven't got any tea lights to put in them. They're like frosted there, I think they'll look really cool. So I got the orange ones. So I also picked up this little uh, light up wand, little ghost again for Harriet's little Halloween basket. I haven't pulled the thing out but when you press the button it just lights up so it's just a little fun thing for her to do. We also got the pin the hat on the pumpkin so when we go up and see her all the girls can do this with her. It's just a little game, it was just one pound, I thought it was quite cute. So you get the little pumpkin mask to put on. So you're like blindfolded and then you've got to try and stick a hat on the pumpkin. So I did think that was quite cute and a fun idea for them to do with their cousin. Got her this little ghost basket. We went for a ghost theme for her basket, if you can't tell. 
um so i just got this i got the fabric one because i thought a it's not plastic and b you can also keep them and reuse them like i said i've got the girls ones so yeah so i found the mallows that i wanted so these are i think they're all ghosts or are they ghosts and pumpkins i'm not sure they look like just ghosts ghost vanilla flavor marshmallows for hot chocolates so that's what i originally went in there for because i didn't want too many um there's enough in there for a few hot chocolates but then we also saw these which i couldn't resist so i got four of these as well these do actually have the mini marshmallows inside them as well so that's just another extra um hot chocolate they can have but they're little hot chocolate bombs and they are it says hollow milk chocolate pumpkin with colored decorations filled with mini marshmallows so you pop this into hot milk and it explodes and all the marshmallows come out and it makes really yummy hot chocolate oh, i got these really cute little salt and pepper shakers because they were one pound fifty and I just thought they were so cute. And again, it's just such simple decor that I'll use year after year after year on the dining table, just next to a big pumpkin or something, just is enough in the middle of the table. Let me try and open them. So yeah, just really cute. Even if you don't wanna use them as salt and pepper shakers, you could just have them this way round so you can't see the holes next to a bigger pumpkin and for £1.50 I think that's a bargain they are really cute they've got little gold stems I then got some Halloween popping candy so there's 30 packs in here which is so good orange apple and strawberry flavour and I just love the packaging it just looks Halloween -y to have like all out or oh, the little candy sticks do you remember the little boxes of candy sticks they have the Halloween ones, so again, I couldn't resist those because the little boxes are Halloween-y as well. And I think they're the same. Oh, they're just all different flavour candy sticks. But again, these are not the best before the beginning of 26, so you could easily keep these for the next couple of years because there's 25 in there again, so they're going to be absolutely fine. Monster lollies again, these are best before 2025, so you can keep some of these as well, because there's a lot of lollies in here. Again, I liked that they had the Halloween packaging as opposed to normal lollies, and they've got the orange and black wrappers, and purple as well. So I've got some of those. It doesn't say how many is in there, but again, they don't need more than a couple of lollies each, so you can either use them for trick-or-treating or just keep them for next year. Then I got two lots of gummy fangs. Again, I just loved the boxes. You could even do a DIY with these after if you just paint them. You've got that coffin shape. That would be cool. They're sour strawberry flavours. And I got two lots of the Haribo monsters. I love Haribo. So I couldn't resist these. These are probably the only one of the sweets that I will eat. So I love those. Then I also got some of the hollow milk chocolate eyeballs. They just looked really cool. And then last but not least, I did get two lots of the chocolate pumpkins. Just because I have a bit of chocolate with the sweets as well. And I love the little pumpkins. So yeah, I'll be sharing those out as well. Then I had to get a bag for life as well, so I got the skull one to just fit the theme, you know. But yeah, that was everything I got from Poundland. I really enjoyed having a look, feel like I haven't been shopping for ages. And yeah, hope you're all doing okay, and I'll see you soon. Bye!